A tale of action and adventure, bravery and friendship. It could be mistaken for a children's comic strip, but this story's real. Well, I suppose this really is the iconic image of the Welsh Guard's involvement in the Falklands. So actually drawing this image, for me, was a very difficult thing to do. The rest of the battalion experienced it in a horrific manner. And for former Welsh Guard Will Kevins, it's an image best captured in cartoon form. I was a little bit nervous about how it was going to look portraying war in such a way, but for me to have the integrity of what I did as a soldier fighting in the Falklands was to do it in that way. The attack on the Sir Galahad led to 56 men losing their lives. Will wasn't on board that day, but he used friends' accounts to bring the scene to life. Asked them if they were comfortable about me doing this as a cartoon strip. What I've found is a lot of people say that this has helped us to come to terms with what's happened to us within the Sir Galahad. A generation on, and the conflict is still remembered as part of the rich history of the Welsh Guards. For some, it may be hard to picture a war fought before they were even born. But for others, it's still on their mind every day. Probably the best and the worst time of my life. The best with the bonding, the camaraderie, where you really figure out who your mates are. And it's, it's, a, it's a bond that will be with you, like 50 odd now. That bond will be there forever. The things that get you through conflict are the, the dark humour that you have when you're in the army. And the things that kept us together as a, as a unit um, were our sense of humour, basically. So trying to portray that in the cartoon strip was absolutely essential. Sales of the book will help two charities which support veterans affected by combat. Over 30 years have passed since the task force set sail to reclaim the Falkland Islands. And while the stories continue to be told, the bravery will always be remembered. Alice Key, ITV News.